Before we get into today's video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video, make sure you ring that bell. Number two, there's a TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes. After clicking that link, every purchase you make on tcgplayer.com helps support this channel. Number three, you'll also find a link to our Patreon where you can support us directly. And now, kick back and enjoy the show. What's up, Spikes? Coming back at you with some more uh, recorded from our own homes CEDH gameplay. We got uh, a, a kind of special guest. I don't think you've actually, oh, this side. I don't think you've actually seen Jim in a game for a little while now. So he's he's back with us. We got Jan hello, again. Hello. And then we got, we got, who's that? What? I'm still a member of the Spike Feeders? Unfortunately, wow. Wow. we'll see how this we'll, we'll see how this game goes. <laughs> yeah, so we got we got Jerry back in for one. How's how's it going, pal? How you been? It's been good. I am currently in my new house, which yeah. feels nice to say. Nice. Not gonna lie. Nice, yeah, very cool. There's a homeowner now. Yeah, yeah, I get all those fancy bills. I think oh, I think I might be the only spike that isn't now, but you know, Maddie. Uh, Maddie. Oh, Maddie. Maddie. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So. We're playing. We're playing some commander today. We're not just here to have fun with friends. I'm playing my Zer the Enchanter deck. Uh, recently tuned it up. Uh, Bill stopped playing Najila in our meta because Flash got banned, and he doesn't want to not play Flash Hulk Najila. Uh, so I had no need to play Withering Wisps anymore. So now, now I'm a Tainted Pact deck. <laughs> That was sweet tech, though. Yeah, it was yeah, super it was. sweet tech. Oh, and speak of speak of Zer, that is that's Zer right there. Oh God! <laughs> not not scripted, not scripted. Uh, this... Zer just wrecking. You know. Yeah, that is that is my oh, tiny boy. demon baby Zer, and that is that is my wonderful girlfriend Aaron who deals with the tiny demon baby while I'm recording. And that is, and that is what he do. <laughs> oh, God, is it ever. Um, yeah, oh. Zer the Enchanter. It's a Tainted Pack deck now. Uh, Jim, what you playing? Yeah, I'm playing Paco and Halden. I played this on one of our episodes. I don't remember which one, but we'll link it um, up in the that corner. Um, yeah, it's a Voltron deck. It's a Temer Voltron, uh, and the idea is it rips stuff off the top of everybody's library, which is going to be a bit of a challenge in webcam remote play, but we'll make it work. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it uh, allows me to cast those cards out of exile, and all the while making Paco bigger. Nice. Yeah. In, in the last game you played him in, he, he almost killed a couple people yeah. with commander damage, didn't you? It's, uh, it yeah. happens more than you would expect. Yeah, he gets he got big quick. Big dog. Yep. Yeah. Looking forward to playing that for the first time. Yeah, Jared, what are you playing? <laughs> oh, geez, yeah. I'm uh, doing my good old-fashioned Brea Ethereum Shaper list. Uh, I don't think I've actually played it on the channel since Thassa's Oracle or Underworld Breach has come out. Those are some powerful recall. spells. Yeah. So those yeah. are powerful spells that are now in this bad boy. So we're going to give it a whirl and see what, how those uh, spells interact with everything. Seems good. Seems good. And, uh, well, since Elliot said we weren't here to have fun with friends, I am playing Bruvac, the Grand Eloquent. Uh, and it is a Persistent Partitioners deck, which means I'm going to play Persistent Partitioners, and we're going to try to rip... 12 to 24 cards off the top of people's libraries a turn and uh, see where that gets us. Yeah. All right. Sounds cool. good. Uh, okay. Well, then let's yeah, switch let's, over to our overhead cams. Let's do it to it. Whoa. 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 That's, That's never going to get old. Time. Yeah. That's never going to get old. Oh, no. pro professional streamers, boys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll yeah. one first. Right? I'm going first. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to draw for my turn. Oh, does that change things? Uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think it does. I think it does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this Tundra, and play this definitely not top decked Soul Ring. Oh. Uh, I think he top decked it. Uh, and then drop a card because I'm a professional 
streamer. <laughs> and uh, tap the soul ring to play this torpor orb. That's kind of rude. Yeah, I it like maybe does nothing against Jan and Jim, but you know, I'm I'm here to do but what I can. But it sure does work against Jerry. Yeah. Oh, torpor orb. Yeah. Also, with with Jerry back in in the rotation, we we've got the uh, illustrious Triple J pod going on again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Good thing is we don't have to track life totals on paper anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Spell table. Oh, uh, so I don't need this piece of paper. Not at all. <laughs> so no. I got this torpor orb. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift the turn. Okay, I have actually a wild opener. This was a this was the snappiest of snap keeps. Uh oh. Um, no. or or gonna... sneeps, if you will. Sneeps, yeah. Uh, I'm going to play this Tropical Island. Then I'm going to cast a Mana Crypt. Oh. I'm going to use the Mana Crypt to cast an Arcane Signet. Oh, that's a lot. And happy. then I'm going to cast Preordain. Uh, and if that resolves, I will scry two draw card. Yeah, I, yep. I wish this uh, Torpor Orb was a Mystic Remora. I'm going to bottom both of them. Ha, got him. Got him. Not even good. Draw card. Then I'm going to cast an Arbor Elf. Jeez. And I'll pass the turn. One, All right. Two, three, four, uh, I'm five, going to uh, untap draw. I'm going to uh, play a Watery Grave tapped. Uh, and then I'm going to play a Mox Diamond pitching a. Uh, Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, mm -hmm. and I will pass the turn. All right. Well, I'm gonna draw this card. Oh, statistically, pretty easy to guess what it was. Island. <laughs> I'm play this Mystic or Misty Rainforest. Mystic uh, Rainforest. Mystic Rainforest. So I'm gonna crack it, going out of thirty-nine. Uh, so I'm gonna get this snow-covered island. I never would guess. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, and I'm gonna cast my own soul ring. Uh, and then I think I'm just gonna pass the turn. Ha! My soul ring was better than yours. It was. It 100 percent was. <laughs> it it uh, produced two more mana or something. I mean, I can just like. Make it <laughs> Nobody's playing that new Jund guy, so whatever. True. No mana burn. Yeah. Easy. Easy yeah, game. <clears throat> Stibs played that against us. It um, like boots the game into booter drive. It just, <laughs> it just lets everybody cast all of their instants every turn. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna play this scalding turn, and we're gonna we're gonna start things off. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow in Jan's footsteps. I'm gonna crack crack a fetch land. Go to thirty nine. I'm gonna get this underground seat. He did. He didn't do it. Oh my god. He's a changed Under man. Underground seat. <laughs> <There you are. laughs> Uh, then I'm going to tap this light. soul ring and cast this Orzhov signet. And uh, I think I'm just going to I'm just going to chill. I think I think I, I I think I have to chill here because of Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll untap. <clears throat> I'm going to flip for mana crypt. Uh, oh, this is a playing with power one. Let's say spikes is damage and playing with power is not damage. Seems good. Mm -hmm. Spikes is damage. damage. We're getting there. I will draw a card. Uh, how, how many more turns? I can't do the math. 10, 13 turn clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. There's no way this dog's going to go for that. Fiery Islet. <clears throat> Man, that's a spicy island. Yeah. Uh, it's not even an island. An that doesn't island. make sense. Yeah. Mm. It can't be spicy. I'm, I'm embarrassed for myself. Don't worry. Should be embarrassed for you as well. <laughs> I'm going to cast Paco. Jerry, any effects? Uh, 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 nope. Jan? Also, no. I'm going to try to mana drain it. Mana drain? Yeah. How's that feel if it, if it happens? Remember when you used to mana drain my my Aloro every <laughs> game? Every every game, <laughs> I draw a mana drain and I just be like, I'm gonna wait until Elliot casts Aloro. It's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, no, it gets mana drain. Yes. Yeah, I don't fix mana drain. I've got. Then I'm just gonna pass the turn. He costs. Uh, sorry, he costs five, right? Yep. Okay. 
draw. I'm going to play a Mana Confluence, and uh, so this was literally the entire game plan with this hand, was a, a turn to... Uh, uh, I'm going to take a damage off of tapping Mana Confluence. Mm -hmm. What is he playing on uh, turn two? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna windfall turn two here. Oh, oh, oh! Which after Jim's opener uh, and Elliot's opener, to be fair, is really bad. But uh, I have no other plays. So yeah, no, yeah. Sure. Jen, no, no um, effects. Uh, I have no effects. I think I have an effect. I'm going to uh, take a damage or pay a life or whatever, <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna chain a vapor Elliot's soul ring. Ooh, that's rough. Rough and harsh, and I have no responses. I okay. do not want to sack a land. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I'm good with Windfall. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, cards in everybody's hand? I have four. I have four. Three. I have six. Ooh. Nice. So we're going to draw six. six. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Jer, what are you discarding? Uh, Cyclonic Rift, Dispel, Dramatic Reversal, Flusterstorm. Jen? Oh. Uh, island, Persistent Partitioner, Persistent Partitioner, Reality Shift, uh, Mystic Remora, and Court of Cunning. Mm. Elliot? Uh, I am discarding Soul Ring, Ponder, Arid Mesa, Snow Covered Swamp. Okay. I'm discarding oh. Ristic Study, Deflecting Swat, and Gamble. And we'll draw six. We'll draw six. All right. Uh, after that, uh, I'll pass the turn. All right. Well, I'll untap and draw. Oh my goodness, these cards are all shocking. <laughs> Is it because they're shock lands? You shouldn't have any shock lands. Yeah, he doesn't have any shock lands. You're mono blue. Can't even believe. Uh, well, all right. Let's just cast persistent partitioner and persistent partitioner. Oh. Yeah. And uh, pass the turn. All righty. Uh, I will untap. I will draw for my turn. I will go to my first main phase and add five colorless mana. One colorless is going to become a black and a white, and then a second black. So floating... <laughs> this isn't going to make any sense, but I have a white mana here, two black, three colorless. I'm going to cast Ad Nauseam. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, I'll pass priority and add nauseum. I'll pass priority. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he got an ad nause. What? Yeah. Let's uh, let's see how this goes for me. I suppose. I'll track if you don't want to uh, okay. update every card. Yeah, that that'll be helpful. So okay, uh, okay I'm at thirty nine right now. Yeah, uh, one ahead. silent gravestone. Okay, thirty eight. Zero underground river. Two cursed totem. Thirty six. Two negate. Thirty-four. Ooh, three Ashiok Dream Red. Thirty-one. Zero Marsh Flats. Two Talisman of Hierarchy. Twenty-nine. Three Windfall. Twenty-six. This is pretty modest so far, but you know, one, two, three, four. We could just windfall for a bunch. That's kind of neat. I'm gonna keep going though. Uh, impulse to 26. Ooh, Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. 22. Now do we get greedy? What if we just hit the other piece, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. What am I at? 22? Yikes. 22, yeah. Persistent Petitioners are 1-2s? They're 1-3s. Oh my god, I'm dead. Uh, I'm going to keep going. Okay. Uh, Ristic study. Yikes. 19. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll stop. We'll stop at 19. Okay. All right, so uh, I, got, I got a couple things to do, uh, and I don't think you guys are going to like some of them, but... Uh, you Try know, me. That's, that's how life works, I guess. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this underground river to start. I don't like that. Oh, cry me a river. I'm going to play this mana crypt. <laughs> You got it. You got anything for that one, asshole? <laughs> Rip me a river. Uh, I'm gonna tap this mana crypt for a talisman of hierarchy. I'm Falling into to... the hierarchy, I see. Shut up. 
Colorless. <laughs> colorless. Ah. Uh, Demir Signet. I'm going to... Yes, me? <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this Chrome Mox. Uh, exiling this Ashiok Dream Render. And then I'm going to go one, two, three. Windfall. Ristic study. Ah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I think that's all of the things that I wanted to do. Let me take another look. Yeah. That's a lot of things. It is It is quite a few things. Um, and actually, I guess it's a matter of whether I want to get this in play now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Curse Totem. Mm. Yep. Just, just throwing it all out there. Got it. Uh, so now I have to move to discard. And I will discard Marsh Flats and negate your turn Jibble. i will untap spikes damage just like before no damage draw i'm gonna play this taiga uh elliot your island count is at two yes tundra uh, underground sea that's the same for jan correct island and snow covered island okay uh, I'm going to, for green, paying the one, I'm going to cast Carpet of Flowers. Wow, still net neutral. Card's too good. Then, uh, I'm going to move to combat mm -hmm. and attack Elliot for one. Seems uh, un unwarranted. <laughs> uh, I've, I've already really? cast the ad nauseum. My life total doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, then uh, post combat main phase, I'm going to target Jan and make two green. Uh, two. Yeah, it like literally doesn't matter. Um, I'll pay one more and cast this Felwar Stone, paying the one. Mm -hmm. Then I'll take a damage, or pay pay a life into the fiery islet, going to thirty five, and I'll cast Halden, paying the one. Yikes! He's paying the one for everything, guys. Yeah, isn't that? I so had a lot of mana. Time? Then okay. I'm gonna pass the turn. Uh, I mean, right. I'm not gonna shuffle off the partner. Untap, draw a card. Well, this card does nothing in this current environment of a board state. All right, I'm gonna play City of Brass. Because uh, I love having my mana base hurt me. Yeah. If, if there's one uh, thing I know about Jerry, it's that. I'm then going to tap two. Uh, play that Dimmer Signet, not paying the one. Ooh, I will draw a card. <laughs> I will then uh, tap City of Brass. With the City of Brass trigger on the stack, I'm going to use that mana to tap Dimmer Signet. And then, uh, so I have a blue and a black. And then I'm going to tap uh, Pay One Life. Uh tapping uh mana confluence that one is not on the stack okay so now i'm going to resolve the trigger for the city of brass and take that damage <laughs> so i have grixis on the stack and i'm going to cast wheel of fortune not paying the one whoa why jerry jen yeah i have no effects Elliot? um i i have a rhystic study trigger but that's it uh any, uh, any of have priority on the rhystic study trigger yeah so i'll yeah. draw a card for that uh, and i have i have no effects to the wheel yeah, I'll also pass on the wheel. Okay. Uh, I'll be discarding Pact of Negation, Thassa's Oracle, Pyroblast, and Brainstorm. Uh, I'll be discarding Persistent Partitioner, Persistent Partitioner, <laughs> Persistent Partitioner, Arcane Denial. Uh, I'm discarding Swamp, Snow-Covered Island, Sea of Clouds, Flooded Strand, Impulse, Windfall, Silent Gravestone, Silence, Jace, wielder of mysteries. Okay, I'm discarding Spire Garden, Command Tower, Island, Mental Misstep. And we'll all draw seven. One, two, three, yep. four, five, six, seven. Ooh, one too many. 
Uh, all right, I'll pass the turn. How many? How many petitioners you got, Daniel? <laughs> Would you believe if I said six? <laughs> Draw this card. Oh, there's a seventh. <laughs> Do I win? Is this like Exodia? I've assembled a. It's all one card. Do I win now? <laughs> I believe that's what they call a flush. Yeah, yeah I have a flush. So I believe that's a good game, everybody. Coming out. Uh, man, I don't even know what to do now. Probably cast some persistent. Attack Elliot? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm going to attack Elliot for sure. Yeah, first of all, I'm going to attack Elliot. Reasonable, reasonable. I'll, I'll go to Get 16. In Get in there. And then oh. cast some petition petitioners and pass. Seems like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that's. I still want. Whatever. Elliot's going to win anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I pay the one. Uh, so I'm going to tap five mana. I'm going to play one petitioner and I'm going to cast my draft. Oh. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Rhystic Study both times? Yeah, both times. Draw two cards. Wow. The only reason I didn't pay for the one is because uh, I made him wheel those cards away anyway. Yeah, that's fair. I'm sorry for doubting you, Jer. <laughs> I'm not. Go ahead. Go ahead. Me? Look, I just need to amass power on the board. Uh, yeah, that's what. I'm, I'm terrified of the petitioners. They're trying to get me to sign up for something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've got a I've got a Magic Fest uh, Las Vegas on one side and a playing with power on the other side. So uh, Vegas side is damaged because it hurts me to remember that we can't couldn't go there this year. <laughs> that, that seems correct. That's yeah. I'll think Oof. That. Yeah. I will I will go to thirteen and shed a tear for Magic Fests everywhere. <laughs> well, pour one out for your homies. Yeah. That you can't see this year. Um. Okay. Uh. Upkeep. Uh, I don't want to cast this spell, so I'm going to draw a card for my turn. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see. Uh, two colorless over here, yeah. Filter that into a black and a white. So I'm going to have a white floating again. Cast Demonic Tutor. Oh boy, I'll pass on that. Pass. Yep, go for it. Alrighty. I'm going to get this card uh, into my hand. It's a pretty good card. Um, let's see, I've got that floating. It is a white mana. I'm going to play this Lotus Petal. I'm going to play this Mox Opal. I'm going to play this Mana Confluence. Uh, I will use this Lotus Petal for a black. And uh, this underground river for a colorless, and this talisman of hierarchy for a colorless. So still floating the uh, white mana. I will cast Yogmoth's will. Yep, pass on that. Okay. Pass on Yogg's will. Okay, uh, Yogg's will exiles itself. Uh, I will cast Lotus Petal from my graveyard. I will cast. Uh, tap this tundra, I guess. Cast this soul ring from my graveyard. Uh, I will use this white mana to cast an angel's grace. Yeah. Any effects? Nope. None. That's... I guess it has split second. <laughs> yeah, that's a special action. Uh, uh flip up uh, the thing that counters it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then I will use colorless, colorless, uh, filter that here, I guess. So that's three, four, crack the lotus petal again to cast ad nauseum from my graveyard. Do you have an extra free, do you have a plus one mana rock in your deck? I guess you can dark ritual, right? If you draw dark ritual. Yeah, I have like dark ritual, cabal ritual. But that doesn't help you cast Jace, though, right? Do you play actual factual no. lab map? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, then that's, then that's game. Um, yeah, any any effects to Admos, I guess? Nope. 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 Okay, I will go to negative uh, a trillion and put this in my 
hand. Uh, I will uh, think that I have enough mana, hope that I have enough mana still. Do, 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 do. Can I do? Yes. Uh, I will add a blue with the Chrome Mox and a blue with the Mox Opal cast. Oh, no. I um, haven't heard that one before. <laughs> he's scoop, Oracle. He's scoop. Uh, uh, that does nothing because nope. of the Torbor effects. Torbor? Okay, I have a response to my own Thassa's Oracle. Uh, I guess, yeah, you could probably blow up the uh, Torbor, right? Uh, where is it? Please be in the deck still. Didn't... <laughs> you, oh, probably yeah. your, you probably have your Chain of Vapor, right? Yes, Chain of Vapor. <laughs> yeah, the Chain of Vapor, your Torbor Oracle, that's game. Yeah. That's why I was asking if you played actual factual lab man, because we did talk about the Yeah, the Torpor Orb, I'm so it. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's game. That's funny. I almost blew it. Uh, that would have been crazy. Oh, yeah, no. let's throw it over to face cams and we can talk about what oh, yeah. oh, oh my god. Professionalism. <laughs> Jen and I did um, it at the same time. Oh, oh nice. Elliot's slow. Come on. I am yeah. slow, yeah. Um Yeah. That was yeah. kind of sad. What I what I probably should have done, especially since because Elliot was talking about leaving mana up for my turn is I had a Ristic study in my hand and I probably should have not gotten greedy and just Ristic studied uh, that turn instead of casting Paco. Um, it would have been pretty modest, but I, I really felt like I needed to press my early game advantage there. Yeah, I think... I don't yeah, know. I, I don't know. I think it, it was maybe kind of like I was obviously telling that I had something. Yeah. Right, but the fact that it was specifically mana drain is what was so yeah back mana drain on on my five mana commander is a bit of a beating yeah um, um, if it had but, just if know, it had just been counter spell right like that game is like still pretty you favored yeah. I think yeah um, yep it did so, kind of uh, stumble out of control from the mana drain right like I had I was gonna yeah. get the five mana drain mana Jerry cast his turn to windfall and I like sacked into the nuts basically like yeah you yeah, like um, so the thing is you drew like plus six mana in fast mana off of that ad nos and if yeah. you hadn't it might have also looked a little different yeah but yeah. that was like a really good ad nos like a value ad nos yeah like yeah i didn't go too low either like i didn't just go to four and die to arbor elf and persistent petitioners yeah. beats so that was yeah. a it was a good game. an interesting game yeah uh, uh, Jerry, yeah, any, Jan, any, any thoughts? I kept uh, a slow no, hand. I, I was say outside the like the curse totem. That's about it. Like, yeah, yeah, curse totem kind of no bueno for participant petitioners. Yeah, and also Jerry's windfall. Because uh, even without the the curse totem, if I had the uh, the court out, it would have been fine. Yeah, uh, but Jerry windfalled that away. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> the fact that. Um, this deck puts out petitioners means that you've got tons of chumps to keep them on arc, right? Yeah, exactly. And they're one uh, threes. They they block they're them. randomly one threes, right? Yeah, like yeah. they block Timna, they block dorks. Yeah, yeah. and then so, we're I mean, back to one four. So <laughs> and and realistically, like Paco doesn't have evasion or trample. Yeah, right. So it's like you just chump Paco forever too. Wow, we should. We, you just you just got to put Berserk in that deck, right? At some point, it just kills somebody, right? <laughs> uh it might be in this deck, actually. Oh, oh. I feel like it's probably pretty good in this deck. <laughs> yeah. um, or like Battle Rage or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Rage, Double yeah. strike. Bop, bop. Yeah. That's some way it to also, kill like, somebody. It doesn't even matter rage. if you move it off your own deck because you just play uh, Holden. Holden. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I guess we could probably call it there. Uh, I think we're probably going to run it back with these same decks uh, for next yeah. episode. It's not going to be a double up. No. But I'd like to try this again because I think it. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I think I think you maybe had an unlucky, a, a false start kind of a thing. It yeah. was. Well, I mean, the the starts from me and Elliot, like. Yeah, yeah we're like pretty, pretty tough good. to come back from that unless you're also dropping five mana on turn uh, one. Yeah, right? you guys are just lucky. I didn't have my jeweled lotus. Man. Jeweled Actually, lotus cast Bruvac by itself. Yeah, jeweled lotus <laughs> cast Bruvac on turn one by itself. <laughs> That's... Yikes. That's yeah. not a yeah. yeah. All right. Sweet. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll Catch there. you guys next time. Uh, I guess. See ya. Thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders. 
We'd like to shout out these and all the rest of our patrons, especially Luca and Connor, our tournament writers. If you want to dress like a spike feeder, check out our Teespring link below. If you need cards, consider using our TCG Player affiliate link. Stick around, watch another video, or you can click here to watch another great piece of Spike Feeders content. <laughs>